Well, now Doug Collins talks to the real mayor, Mr. Tom Campbell. Now, Mayor Campbell, it's very good of you to take time out from your duties to come down and loiter with me on the public square here. But does it not seem wrong to you that anyone should be apprehended in a public place on account of his appearance? Well, just a moment. To start off with, we're not loitering. Right now, we're at work, both of us. Uh, we're trying to put on a show. Uh, I think any lazy lout that uh, lies down on the sidewalk, obstructs the traffic, should be charged with loitering. Uh, with uh, loitering. And I fully concur with what's happened so far. Well, uh, were the people concerned lying on the sidewalk and obstructing the traffic? Because I have not yet heard that they have been doing that. Well, it's a little awkward. This is before the court right now, and I really can't discuss the, the, the particular case I think that you have in mind. But I think that anybody that obstructs the rest of the decent people of Vancouver should be charged with loitering. And I, 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 in, in, the, in, the, in generalities, I fully agree with it. I don't know what happened in this particular instance, and as, as it is before the courts, I don't want to even discuss it. But we'll discuss the Hudson's Bay corner, where there were hippies sitting on the street in their bare feet, and women couldn't walk around them. As far as I'm concerned, they should have been charged there and taken and incarcerated, because not only do they have rights, but I think the decent people of Vancouver have rights too. This is a, a group of society, and it's not a racial group. This is as, as of their own choice who chose to drop out of society onto society. They want to contribute absolutely nothing to the welfare of the community, and yet they look to us for all the services. They expect hospital care when they take bad trips. They expect police protection when they get into trouble, and yet when the police are around, they shout fuzz. They expect the public libraries, the parks. They don't want to pay taxes. They want to take everything and give nothing. They, well, we, they are parasites on the community. Well, we have heard from a lawyer on this program already, Mr. William Deverell, who suggests that uh, the law is one thing, but that the manner in which the arrests were made is another thing, and that uh, people with long hair were simply discriminated against in being arrested. No, that's just a lot of nonsense. Uh, there has never been any arrests in this courthouse square before, and it was made simply because they were lazy louts who were loitering on the, on the steps of the courthouse. And they had no business doing it, and I fully support what was done. And you can have legal technicalities, you can have whatever you want. We've got a major problem facing the city of Vancouver. We've got a, 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 a scum community that have, have organized, have decided to grow long hair, have decided to pretend to be hippies. They want to take everything, give nothing. Half of them are American draft dodgers who won't even fight for their own country, who are up here, for protection if they were in their homeland they'd be in jail now if we were in trouble if they wouldn't fight for their mother country what do you think they'd do for their adopted country nothing which is exactly what they're doing now nothing well uh, how long is long for example um, uh, people are being arrested who have long hair and uh, you have yourself on some occasions in the past referred to the fact that you have rather long hair you know if you were uh, not tom campbell and the mayor of this city do you think that the police would be entitled to arrest you for hanging around here? I'll tell you something, that there isn't going to be one decent citizen of Vancouver arrested whether they have long hair or not. Uh, the people that uh, the police are looking to are the police, are, are, are the citizens, or I call them citizens, who are nothing but first-class troublemakers. They are organized. Every do-gooder group in town uh, is trying to support them now, and these people don't deserve any support. I think the support should go to our good youth, our Boy Scouts, uh, uh, the organizations in town, the church, the religious groups, uh, the decent children. Uh, here you're running, you're spending uh, I don't know how much money of taxpayers' money putting this show on to discuss the hippie problem. Well, I'll show you retarded children. I'll show you good, decent, clean citizens, the children that need help. And what are we doing? We're here, I'm wasting my time talking about hippies. <laughs> they, they, there's no question about it. The scum always comes to the top, and it's come today. Well, you know, uh, we have done programs on retarded children, too. I just wanted to point that out in case there uh, is any misapprehension on your part or anyone else's. But the point is, you were suggesting that uh, something should be done about the hippies. What do you suggest should be done? Well, apart from arresting them. Personally, I just assume they leave town, or at least leave the rest of us alone. The majority, the majority of us are decent, hard-working people. Now, these are people that, that claim all their civil liberties, all their rights. They, 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 as of their own choice, 
have put them in, themselves in the position of being parasites on the community, and they want all the rights and to contribute nothing. Think what would happen if our country continued this way. Within the next two generations, there wouldn't be a country. And if, this, and if this, these young people do get their way, they will destroy Canada. And from what I hear across the world, they'll destroy the world. The, the problems facing us not, are not only war and the atomic bomb and the hydrogen bomb, it's the fact that our youth or part of it is decaying and it's rotten. Thank you very much. That was very interesting. And now a word from one of our sponsors. Well, I've been spat upon on the streets of Vancouver by the good citizens, but I didn't think that the mayor would also act that way if he was in private. Um, I have a quote here from Shakespeare. Our doubts are traitors and make us lose the good we oft might win by fearing to attempt. We must attempt. Please, try. Thank you. Now don't go away because we'll be back in just one minute. Well, for the past half hour, the 7 o'clock show has been loitering on the courthouse steps. We'll see you tomorrow, we hope.